All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Ba Hashem Yahushai, Ba Hashem Murakal Kodash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, Om Akim. Now, this guy right here, Charleston White, or whatever the fuck his name is, man, has truly lost his mind, okay? You're going to hear him. Let me just play it. All Crips and Bloods, death to all GDs and BDs. May they all die like King Von. May they all die like Drakeo the Ruler. May they all die like Nipsey Hussle in vain. Death to all Crips and Bloods. Death to all GDs and BDs. May they you know, yeah, he's supposed to put up curses on the two-thirds, you know? And all these wicked that they bought, these different nations, chiefly Esau and Esau Edom, okay? But what the brother was saying, I was looking for this scripture to water to the brother. Um, let me get the scripture here real quick. Uh, this is exactly, you know, he don't do nothing for the Lord. This is the same individual that cursed the Bible and curse the Hebrew Israelites and all this stuff, right? So he doesn't be he doesn't believe within this word, okay? He doesn't believe not when it comes to the Bible, man. He's probably eating pork, you know. He got them Kentucky Fried Chicken gold teats in his mouth, you know. That that eh, no beard, nothing, you know. He's not a wise individual. Uh, let's go to this real quick. Oh, shoot, you know what? <laughs> yeah, let me get this one first. It's Iraq chapter 21 and verse uh, 27. When the ungodly curses Satan, he curses his own soul, okay? That's just like this individual. Here he is cur cursing out the wicked, but he is a part of that, okay? He is a part of that. How the hell is this guy talking about curse the Hebrew Israelites, curse the Bible, all these things, fuck this and fuck that, but yet supports all different all different types of uh, wickedness, you know, involving wickedness, joining hand in hand with wickedness, but yet he he thinks that he's in a position where he could talk against wickedness. You're a part of wickedness, man. It's not like the men of the Lord. The men of the Lord, we're trying to fight that off, you know, serving the Lord day day by day. Was the next um, with all thy might, with all thy strength, you know? Judges five and eleven, rehearsing the righteous act. This guy don't keep no Shabbat, no Sabbath, you know. Day of Atonement, no. These guys don't do that, you know. Pasach, no. They don't keep the high holy days. They keep high whole, high whole wicked days, <laughs> you know. But anyways, let me go to this real quick too. Sirach chapter twenty-one and verse eighteen. As, as is a house, as is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool, right? So he's a fool, he's Nabal, okay? He, he's a fool. Everything that comes out of his mouth is irksome and foolish and is not sound, okay? It's not coming from the scriptures. In fact, he's the same one that cursed the scriptures out, right? And the knowledge of the unwise is as talk without sense so you see he's an unwise individual when he speaks it's without sense okay he's a double-minded man all right better yet to say <laughs> you know but let me go to this one too let me see this god this is really this scripture here is really you know could go Esau eat him, but it can it can really apply to two thirds too because they want to run after the ways of Esau eat him. Psalms chapter thirty six and verse four: He that deviseth mischief upon his bed, he setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhorred not evil, and this guy does not abhor evil. Okay, like I said, he's eat, eating pork and all them thing, and you know speaking against the men of the Lord, okay? 
let the unjust run wild. You don't speak out against JC. Okay? You don't speak out against vocab. You don't speak up against those things. You know? But, and, and even that, this is the same man that say he commit murders and all types of things. And then turn around and rat on his own people that he was committing the murders with. Okay? What kind of individual is that? You know, like I said, double-minded man. All right. Um, what was the next scripture? First Samuel. First Samuel or Second Samuel? Yep. First Samuel chapter twenty-five and twenty-five. Let not my lord. I pray thee, regard this man of B B Bilal, even Nabal, for as his name is, so is he. See? So when you look up the name Nabal, it goes into fool. Okay? And this man here, he's a fool. Okay? Everything that's coming out of his mouth is without sense. Okay? Uh, yeah, you could say even a, a, a broken clock is right twice a day, yeah. But in general, he's a fool, man. He knows not these scriptures. Nabal is his name, and folly is within him. But I, thy handmaid, saw not the young men of my Lord, whom thou didst send. Okay. But anyways, going back into the main point, yeah, mischief and folly is set within his heart. He is a fool. Okay. Now, he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Yeah, he himself, he himself is judging no man, right? Because he's doing those things according to what the scriptures say, right? He's not trying to go off. He's keeping the commandments, right? He's doing what pleaseth the Lord. How Abraham, Abraham, you know, doing those things. You know, became a friend of the Most High, okay? Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, okay? But this guy don't keep no law, statutes, and commandments, man. What, what law, statutes, and commandments does this guy keep? Huh? Being a fool? You know, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 28. Yahweh, uh, Yahweh shall smite thee with madness and, and blindness and astonishment of heart. Right, madness, right? This individual, he has a, he's, let me go into that word there, man. Craziness, okay, craziness. Craziness, man, furious madness, okay? <laughs> And that's how, you know, that's why I read uh, Sirach <coughs> 21 and, and 18, okay? His, his, his talk is without sense, without any sense, man. Craziness, okay? But this is all part of the curses, you know? Uh, let me see. Deuteron Deuteronomy 28 and 54, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother, and toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave, which he shall leave, okay, so this is part of the curses, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's curses is real, alright, not no joke, and you can see that this man's crazy within his mind, he's a double-minded man, a double-minded man, okay, because one time he is saying this, the next minute he's a warlord, a, a warlord now. See? James 1 and 8, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, okay? Not to be sound, okay? You can't trust that individual, okay? Unstable, inconsistent, rustless, okay? You don't know what side you're on, okay? You're rustling between decisions. You're not a tough guy. You're a tough guy. Yeah, you're a bad man. You're not a bad man. You know? 
Because he went to jail in Iraq. And he said, at this age, you think I'm going to go to jail again? Man say I, slack, yeah. Man say I know three murders that I could fucking call and do it as sort of, uh, fool, a ball. You want to curse us out about the Bible, okay. We, the Lord said, take this and walk. Let me get it, Baruch 401. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. And that's this uh, individual, he's in a dead state, okay? No breath, Ezekiel. Can these dry bones live? He has not the inspiration of the Most High within him. He has not that breath within him, okay? He's a part of the world, two-thirds. So here it is, like the scripture I started out with, Sirach 21 and 27, that ungodly, you know, he thinking that he cursing somebody, but he really cursing himself because he's part of the ungodly, okay? So, continuing, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated, right? And when you walk in the presence of the light, just imagine, you know, you're out in a dark, dark place. And you're walking, as you're walking, there's a whole bunch of pits, you know, that you could fall into. But true, you're illuminated and you have the light. And the presence of the light is around you, you can see. So you don't bump into things and you don't fall into a dangerous trap. That's why I say the blind lead the blind. They both shall fall into what? A ditch, right? So here it is. You know, we have this truth, which is that light, which gives us guidance. How to walk within life, you know? It tells you that a righteous man foreseeth that evil and hideth himself, but the prudent will have, I mean, slacky, but the simple pass on and are punished, right? A prudent man foreseeth that evil. He said, no, 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 I'm out. Uh-uh. Anyways, continuing. Give not thy honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee, to a strange nation. Jeremiah 2 and 33. Trimming thy way to seek another's love. Okay? You're giving away this thing that is profitable unto you. Right? You're trying to give it up. But that, that, that's actions of Nabal. That's actions of a fool. Okay? Who the hell these these Hebrew Israelites to hell with them? Every street corner talking this and that, blah, blah, blah. Talking out the side of your neck against the men of the Lord. Okay? Uh, verse 4. O Israel, okay, Yashra Allah, happy are we for the things that are pleasing to God are made known unto us. No alienation, just to us. And here it is, this guy's rejecting it. Nabal, once again, a fool, okay? That's why I made the mention about uh, Psalms 36 and 4. You know, he comes in the same stead. He comes in the same fashion as them, okay? Psalms 30, 36. Let me see if I find it. So Psalms 36. Yeah, he devises mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhorred not evil. Okay? And when you're in the light, when you walk in with, within uh, that fashion of Baruch, like I said, this is the book of the commandments of God. Okay? All that leave it shall die. Right? And then the second one tell you, say what? Take hold of this light and walk in the presence of. He, ab he abhors not evil. Okay? And he walketh in a way which is not right. Okay? Which is the blind way. But anyways, let me go into Second Ezra. Oops. No, let me go here. Let me go here quick first. Come on, man. He that is diligent seeketh good, uh, procureth secure favor. Basically, let me go into that. A secure favor, request, okay, desire, 
big, okay, what we could share, you know, but anyways, uh, let me go back into uh, this scripture here real quick, and I'm going to close out, Second Ezra, 8 and 50, and I'm going to jump back to this scripture real quick. Actually, I'm going to go to that scripture first. Hold on a second. Yeah, begging the Lord for favor and doing those things, which, you know, you know, if you're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, you're rehearsing the righteous acts, right? You're doing it to the best of your ability with all your mind, might and strength, right? You know, may the Lord have favor on you. You know, may the Lord have, um, you know, mercy on you, right? And, and you be found right in his eyes. But what does the rest of the scripture say? Let's go back to this. Proverbs 11 and 27. He that is diligent seeketh good, procureth favor. But he that seeketh mischief, it shall come upon him. It shall come upon him. Right? And this guy's talking about death to this, death to that, this to this. But hey, remember in the in your words what you're speaking okay you have to be careful with those words that are coming out your mouth man was the scripture saying um let me see that way hold up is it here let's see if i'll find it yep proverbs chapter um 18 and uh, 21, death and life are in the the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit of life thereof. Sakya. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And this guy's out there speaking madness, okay? Speaking madness, all right? You ain't supposed to be speaking like that, man. Because you ain't a man of the Lord. You ain't, you ain't, in, you ain't in this truth, okay? And the things that come out of this individual's mouth, boy, oh boy, he, he's going to run into some problems sooner or later, okay? He don't have the uh, hedge of Yahweh Bashem Yoshai, okay? Second Ezra chapter 8 and 50, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride, and that's him. Okay, this is the ball, this fool. He walks in great pride, man. Okay. So, hey, man. He's, this individual is another individual to watch and see what's going to happen to him in the next, you know, season or so. Okay. So, that's why I say this one entitled, The Ball Has Gone Mad. Okay. <laughs> and with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim doing this word, uh, pushing his truth in all sincerity and truth. Shalom Akim. Abad Babal.